the heavy presence of security chiefs, personnel, and all that in the southeastern part of the country is alarming, especially with the presence of the security heavily deployed to Anambra State is becoming a source of concern and worry to the people of the Southeast. Just recently, about a few days ago, the Nigerian army deployed soldiers, trucks of soldiers into Anambra State to quell the activities of unknown gunmen. There have been serious influx of soldiers with heavy weapons, heavy load weapons of uh, soldiers into Anambra State on nature and its environs as a result of the activities of unknown gunmen. Also, the Inspector General of Police deployed more policemen into the state. Also issuing the Commissioner of Police a stern instruction to ensure that the perpetrators of this, that this act are brought to book. This is coming at the back of the hill of the killing of some naval officers and some Nigerian Correctional Service uh, officers who were killed when an inmate or some inmates were said to be conveyed to the court. Well, it is not the end of the matter as the chief of naval staff has himself stormed Anambra State. The chief of naval staff storms Anambra State on issues of security and killings of naval officers and other security agents in the state as he expressed worry as to the rate and the spite of killings and other activities of the unknown gunmen and hoodlums in the state. The Nigerian Navy has assured of collaborative efforts towards fighting the deepening insecurity situation in the state, in the states and in Nigeria. The Chief of Naval Staff, Rear Admiral Awel Zubairu, gave the assurance when he paid a courtesy visit to Governor Willie Obiano at the Governor's Lodge in Onicha. According to the Rear Admiral Zubairu, who said that he is on an operational visit to the naval outpost in Onicha. He assured that Navy officials will redouble their efforts to combat insecurity within the state and the country at large. He reassured Obiano that unknown gunmen killing policemen in the state will soon be unmasked. He said that based on the new directive by the president, Muhammad Buhari, they will sustain good working relationship with other security outfits to restore peace to the state, which has been peaceful. While appreciating the governor for supporting the Navy in the state, especially during the recent unfortunate incident in some parts of the state, the Rear Admiral Zubairu pledged to continue to support the governor's effort in securing Anambra State. Governor Obiano, who said that he had a long discussion with the Chief of Naval Staff, long before now, revealed that he consequently sent a special crack team to the state. He commended the good works of the Navy within the state, while applauding their prompt response. Wife of the governor, Chief Ebelechuku Obiano, among others, received the chief of naval staff. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? There is serious tension in the air, especially in the southeast, as heavy security personnel have been deployed to the states due to the activities of the unknown gunmen. Just recently, the soldiers deployed men. The uh, uh, civil defense, you know, added more men. The Nigerian police did the same thing. Now the 
Navy has also done the same thing. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? I said, where? The question is, is there a war going on in Anambra State that is requiring this level of huge deployment of heavy uh, security personnel from virtually all of the military uh, all of the military section of, uh, of the states of the country well it is what it is probably they are overwhelmed and they feel that they need to collaborate and they need to make sure that they repel the attacks and also they felt that the heavy presence of the military and all other uh, military forces would scare the unknown gunmen, uh, probably make them to a loop and run away from the states. Well, it remains to be seen if that is the intention so far, but it is what it is. There is serious concern that the people, as it were, in the states of Anambra are under heavy siege, as it were, as checkpoints, stop and search checkpoints have returned to virtually um, every part of the state, every nook and cranny of the state where people are being uh, are stopped, searched, checked, scrutinized, you know, before they pass. Those are the situation or the, that's the situation of things in Anambra State as we speak. With the presence of the chief of naval staff and um, other security forces, more men have now been deployed to Anambra State on each other on the issue of insecurity in the country. With all these um, resources being deployed, hopefully that we do not have to hear about any um, activities of the unknown gunmen again and hope we don't have to hear about unnecessary killing and unnecessary um, act or attitude or what have you of the Nigerian army or the Nigerian security forces as it were. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it is. Well, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.